Here today on ACU Sovereigns TV with head coach Natasha Chocolate after our championship game against the Yarra Valley Grammar Aerials. Tash, probably not the result that we wanted on the scoreboard, but some good signs overall. Yeah, certainly not the result we were after, but what was pleasing was our final quarter. Um, sometimes when you, you've got a 20 goal margin, and it was actually more than 20 goals going into that final quarter, um, you can, the heads can drop um, and then it ends up being a blowout. But what was pleasing were the girls really picked up and we actually won the final quarter. So the combination starting to come, they were starting to listen to what they were supposed to be doing on court, um, providing lots of options and actually talking out there and helping each other out so it was a really positive find that sign that final quarter and a really good sign given that the girls have come off basically two games in about 12 hours as well the fact that they had the fitness to run out that final quarter yeah definitely the fitness but we're also looking at a bunch of girls who a lot of them haven't actually played at the championship level so um, there was a lot of nerves out there on court yesterday there was still more nerves out there today um, and the fact that they've worked through that they worked through scenarios um, and come out finishing on a high was a really pleasing sign. You can see the combinations are starting to come together. I thought in the last quarter, Sinner and Laura really worked well together in goals and yeah. bringing Ash Bradley on in the last quarter just gave that little bit of extra spark as well. Yeah, definitely. We've been excited about getting Ash Bradley um, out on court. She's uh, a very raw player um, and unfortunately had a slight injury. So that was her first quarter um, at this level. So was, she did a really good job for her first time out there and just added an extra bit of warmth and height in our defence end. What's your main takeaways from the first two games, Tash? Look, um, we tried quite a few different things, you know, um, and I think the girls have got a lot of potential. We've got a lot of hard work in front of us, but once those combinations start building, which we saw out there today, um, I think, you know, I think there's some really, really pleasing signs, and I'm really excited about what the, the girls can produce moving forward. And another game coming up this Wednesday night as well. A bit of a horror run to start the season. I know. I think it's, you know, it's been a really tough weekend, especially for um, a, a brand new team and some brand new young players. To play a double header on the first weekend is obviously not an ideal scenario for us but it's something that we'll just, you know, take on board and it's what we have to do. So um, we've got another game on Wednesday. There's the unfortunate thing is we don't get to get another training session. The girls are exhausted. They've just put out two hard performances on court. So we'll be doing a lot of analysis, but it would just be verbal. We won't be able to get out there on court. And then we're just going to hit them hard on Wednesday. I think they've... Positive. I think they'll be really positive and they look really positive. You know, there's no heads dropping and I think they're really pumped and ready already to take on Wednesday night's game against Blaze. Well, Tash, we're very much looking forward to it. Good luck on Wednesday night. And from everyone in Sovereign's Nation, we're right behind you. Thank you. <laughs>